what's the first thing you want to do when you grab a banana? Call my Nana. <laughs> <laughs> Let's serve up some news, sunny side up. We're gonna start with style today, Ross, because The Guardian is reporting that the fashion world is expecting a huge boom. They've already seen an uptick in clothing and jewelry sales, and they're comparing it to the roaring 20s fashion. After the 1918 flu in World War I, the fashion world exploded. Men switched from suits to sports coats, and women got bobs and put on beaded dresses. And fashion experts expect to see the same joy and freedom expressed in upcoming trends. What do you think? Well, I think people are a couple things. One, I would love to have somewhere to go where I dress up. It's been a minute, right? It'd be nice to feel good, get all pretty and go. The other thing, though, is I've gotten sort of used to wearing elastic head to toe 24 seven, right? Yeah. And so I think that whatever happens in the fashion world, that athleisure-ness, which is that like casual, when you wear stretchy clothes, but you're not going to the gym, that's called athleisure. Yeah. I think it's all gonna be infused with that. It's like, I just got these jeans and they're so stretchy. I feel like I could put on 20 pounds and still fit in them. Vogue reports facial cupping is the latest skincare trend that also relieves facial tension. Gosh, I need some of that. <laughs> Um, literally this morning I woke up and I was like, grind harder, woman. Oh, I, I was I, like, uh-oh. Uh, uh, uh. Uh yeah, I know, I've got like TMJ, so I'm interested in this. I think I have a lot of facial <laughs> tension. Oh, 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 dear. oh, oh, wow. Oh. Okay, first of all, yeah. Mian, do I need like a product or like um, an oil? Do I need anything with it? Yeah, so the first oh thing, God. definitely most important is to get an oil or serum. I'm gonna have a little bit of oil here okay. and apply it to your face because you really want to promote the movement of the cups. You never want the cups to be stationary on your face. That's how you end up with bruising. You want them to always be gliding on your face. Now you tell me, thanks. Um, yeah. Man. Sorry about that. Yeah. that. I was like, I know. Whoa. CNN Business reports that Gen Zers, or Zoomers, as we are now calling them, have oh. gone on TikTok to say, skinny jeans, side parts, and the crying emoji are dead. Uh, well, no. Yeah, yeah, they do. They say this is like all for old people. They don't get to just get rid of skinny jeans and, and a, a side part, I'm sorry. I still, I'm still gonna use the cry emoji. Sorry, Gen Z, what are they? They're Zoomers, and my daughter called me a boomer the other day. And I said, I'm actually not a boomer. Um, I'm a uh, Gen Xer. Mm -hmm. And um, and then I, my eyes started crossing, and she lost interest in that before <laughs> that conversation went. May I ask, what's the first thing you want to do when you grab a banana? Call my Nana. <laughs> <laughs> OK. When a writer at Refinery29 went on a quest to determine the correct way to peel a banana, and the answer might surprise you. Heidi, can you read that? Tell us what it says. It's from the bottom up. No, this is... That shocked me. This is bananas. <laughs> that is crazy. It so is... from down here? Apparently, we've been doing it all wrong. Apparently, going backwards, going the other way around, avoids that mealy tip. What do you think, Heidi? Well, I also find the bottom to be mealy, and I cut that off, too. So I only eat a banana, like, in the, this much. Really? Have you ever peeled it from the bottom? I have not. Let's do it. Do it. All right, okay. here we go. It feels wrong. Oh, my god. It's so much better and so much more delicate to not crank on the handle. I didn't like that. It just <laughs> felt like against nature. <laughs> Ross, I'm totally with you. Right? I say no. Yeah, no, I'm good. Okay. Yeah, me this, too. This banana can split. <laughs> the feet have demanded Crocs, they've demanded Uggs, and now Glamour Magazine reports the trend that is everywhere. You're gonna see it, socks and sandals. Yeah, no, Drew, I don't know how I feel about this one. Really, Rossi? Yeah, I, I'm just a firm believer that I don't like that. <laughs> Now, is it just because you're like, you've given up on life or it's just not your trend? I just, I went to college and I remember seeing so many people with socks Ooh. and those like Adidas shower one slippers. strap. Yeah, shower slip at the dining hall and always being like, I almost can't eat. I hate that look so much. I love it, Rossi. We differ. I love, cause I'll rock a sock and a sandal any day. But that's cute for you. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe you can pull that off. I, I don't know, but I definitely do it. 
And today, it's a customizable cutting board, and you can do words. Look at that. So cute. Olive and Frankie. And look at that one. Look, Barrymore. How rad is that? This is great. And you know what's so fun is you could get your family names, you could get um, meats, cheeses, vegan, gluten-free, whatever. Uh, for a little presentation. I love that. Fun, right? Put pithy little things like, cut it up. Oh, oh. Make it roll. Uh, that's a wrap. Yes, exactly. <laughs> See, I should have left the puns to you. Um, these are handmade by woodworkers in Baltimore, Maryland, and they use sustainably sourced American hardwood. And I just love this. It's called Words with Boards. So cute, great housewarming gift too, right? Oh, mm -hmm. by the way, you could put like, yeah, like a family name. I mean, I'm so excited to have a board that says Barrymore. Yeah, well here, there you go. Oh, thank you. Um, here, me. and you can put olives on that. Oh, oh good, oh look. <laughs>